Let's see if we can find a combination for um, for 12 columns instead, as that is even more flexible. So let's see here. If I go to margin columns and rows, I'm going to go to change the main column here. Now, as we can see, we do not have any combination for 12 columns. So um, what we can do instead, if we really, really want to work with 12 columns, uh, we could create a new document. And we're going to be working with a modular and smart mode instead. So I'm going to enter the value for uh, the document size here. I'm then going to enter 2.5 millimeters. Press calculate. Now, just a side note here, you can press the up and down arrows on our latest version of the plugin. And you don't have to uh, press calculate over and over. So uh, once we've done that, go over to smart mode. So what we've done is we've defined the document size. We've uh, set our uh, grid width that we wanted to work with, 2.5, and press calculate. And then we go to smart mode here. Now what I do here is I enter 12 columns. I play around with the uh, column width. Now here we run into a problem because the, the margins are either too big or too small. So how do I solve this? Well, I need to create a finer grid which will give me more options. So what I do is I divide this by two and um, this is gonna give me more control. And uh, let's enter. 12 columns again and two gutter steps so that it produces 2.5 millimeters and let's see if we can find a better combination this time yeah I feel that this is uh, this is better and we can see that it aligns perfectly so I could go back to my document here and I could enter a grid width of 1.25 and have the inside be uh, 20 millimeters and the outside be 17.5 millimeters. So uh, let's see if I remember all these details. I'm going to close this document. I'm going to start the grid plugin again here. And let's do the following here. I'm going to enter 1.25. This is going to clear the columns. And uh, actually, let's go ahead and clear the, um, the sub-columns as well. Or the secondary columns. And let's go back to our margins. Uh, actually I want more on the outside so uh, let's put 17.5 millimeters here and 20 on the outside oops yeah now we should be able to have 12 columns here yeah perfectly so all I have to do here is I just have to readjust my my content a little bit So let's see here, the, um, the smaller gutter of 2.5 seems to be fitting perfectly here. Okay, so we have our, um, our text that spans over three columns with a gutter of 2.5, which I feel is a little too, it's, it's too little for this column width. I would like to have 
another value, but I can't seem to find a combination that I like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to copy. I'm going to close the plugin. I'm going to create a new document again, and I'm going to play around until I find a combination that I like. So back to modular setup here and um, 215 by 280 millimeters, 1.25 millimeters for the grid width. And um, I'm going to find something that's close to 12 points, calculate. I gotta change the subdivision here, of course. Uh, and this happened because the, uh, the document height was too large. Uh, so when I entered 1.25, it had to divide it in order to fit within InDesign's uh, um, restrictions. So anyway, let's head to Smart Mode. And I'm going to select Edit, Paste in Place. Okay, so now we have it fitting perfectly. So let's see if we can find a combination here. 12 columns, two gutters. Actually, let's switch back to millimeters so we have the same values here. Okay. Now we have it exactly as I had it in the other document. Let's head back to modular and let's make an even finer grid here. Twelve columns again. So I'm probably not going to get the exact same values, but close enough will be good enough for me. So um, let's move it in place here. Let's see if I can edit the gutter of the column here. 3.125. Okay, now we have uh, what appears to be a perfect fit. And if we can zoom in here, we can see that we have a really small grid. So now the tricky part, getting this, these columns to fit in nicely as well. But I want a larger gutter than with the four combinations because we have wider columns. So um, let's see here. And I can see that my increment value is 0 0.625 millimeters here. So I could go ahead and I could add that. Uh, let's see here. Nope, didn't fit. Let's zoom in here and see. And to open this dialog, I'm just pressing Command B. Oh yeah, there we found finally a combination and let's hope it fits on this side as well. Uh, 
Okay, so it fits perfectly. So we got a perfect fit there. And we have a perfect fit here. Now I just have to go back to my document and do some editing. I'm just going to take a print screen of this actually. And then I'm going to close this document. Don't save. Open the plugin again. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Going to open these images. Okay, 0 0.625 for the grid width. 0 0.625. And um, let's see the uh, margins. Something like that, yeah, okay. Uh, the outside is yes. Okay, I'm guessing this is gonna be around twenty-eight or something. Okay, that's perfect. Let's find our twelve columns here. Yeah, we can see the width is 3.125 millimeters. Perfect. Now we're just gonna move these things in place. Now, when it comes to the module in a smart mode, I think the, they are very, very powerful to use. Now, the thing, the reason that I'm not using it on this document is because I wanted to have my leading to 12 points. And I can't do that with modular and smart because I can't break the grid there. But in quick mode, I can do that. So I'm only going in there and I'm finding all the details and coming back and applying them in this mode. Okay, I think that was the combination that we had. Five millimeters for the gutter. Let's see if it fits here. Yep, fits perfectly. So one last thing I wanna do is actually create um, the columns for, um, for these uh, three columns combinations. So I'm gonna go into margin columns and rows here and I'm going to go to secondary setup, secondary columns, and um, let's see here. Yeah, this is seems to be that one, three columns with eight gutter lines. And I'm just going to try hiding this to just verify that it is correct here. Hide and show the secondary columns layer. Yeah, so there we have our setup for our magazine. And um, yeah, uh, I can only imagine how many hours of hard work this would, uh, this would take if you didn't have the plugin. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you've learned something that you have use of and uh, thank you for watching.